Yeah. And then, uh, so the the deal or no deal ticker tape comes down. No, I was happy for Steve. Really. I was too. I yeah. was too. And also, imagine to watch the show since you're like ten yeah. or eight or something. Bless him. And then to fucking win the thing. Don't get me wrong. He didn't deserve to win. Vanessa should have won, but he evicted her. Therefore, he deserved to win. He's not a Pat Johnny and Terry, but him and him and John played quite similar games. I think, which basically was throwing virtually everything they could get away with and just praying to God yeah, they stayed till the true. end yeah. and then just hoping it fell the way it had to uh, so it, to an extent he was lucky but also I do he was good he was a good player Steve locked down what Cody failed to do last year and evicted his biggest threat and then just fought off Liz which is a piece of piss uh, right but it's and also, it's quite unusual on BBUSA that, you know, on obviously on British Big Brother, you know, the, well, allegedly the most likeable person <laughs> exactly wins it because <laughs> people phone in or whatever. But mm-hmm. Steve is quite a likeable person. He's yeah. a likeable character. Yeah. Like I always said, if um, the BBUSA cast mm-hmm. was in this country, mm-hmm. like, for example, Do- Donnie would have smashed it yeah, that year yeah. he was on. John. Um, Johnny Matt. Zach Ranch the lot you know oh fuck him so then um, Ameri- how, mu- how much is it for a phone call with Zach Ranch <laughs> these days <laughs> too much so then America's player came down uh, to now- Jace Jeff <laughs> it was Jace it was all Jay, was it? It was Jay? yeah. No. It was James, Johnny Mac, or Jason. Jason, no. Jason needs the money, and his mum's basement. I know. I I thought he I would know. win it. I thought he would win that. To he be would honest. have if he'd been in longer. That just goes to show that of all those people, Jason was the top three, and he's not been in it for months. He was the most one of the most impactful people on the game. Yeah, he was brilliant. His laugh cracks me up. <laughs> yeah. Um. And when he saw Jane's one, um. Yeah, America's. Oh, player. that was nice. He looked. I mean, obviously, he'd be pissed off for a second, but yeah. he looked like genuinely happy for him. And I think they all thought everyone thought would well, John would win it. I was surprised that John didn't win it. I wasn't. But do you I know wasn't. why? Why? Why weren't you surprised? Because I think he would like say if that poll had closed like three, four, five yeah. weeks ago, then yeah, yeah, no sweat at all. Yeah. But then, like, just it felt like towards the end yeah. he wasn't quite the same person yeah. like his heart wasn't in it yeah. and I don't know he was acting of, weird like that shit about getting out Meg and yeah, yeah. <laughs> saying that all his clients had dirty teeth <laughs> I could go on do you think you said when we were watching it um, John just didn't like playing that game basically <laughs> yeah he seemed bitter yeah he seemed bitter yeah, pissed bit of, off bit of jury um, so then um yeah, they, all, they the ticker tape came down, like you say. They all cuddle. Meg was straight up to Clay, I noticed. Oh, yeah. And then, she slip him anything. And then I saw Clay hugging Shelley, but Clay like let go of her quite quick. Uh, Austin was kissing Liz. Um, and then all their mums come... Steve's mum come Oh, uh, and then Steve started getting off with his mum. Yeah, giving him a blow all right. and all that. Is that why Cody's dad didn't know? They didn't, they didn't <laughs> want to... Too much incest. Keep it PG-13, on, isn't on, it? On the show. <laughs> but hang on now, who do we see in the audience? I know we saw Brench, obviously. Frankie Grande. Oh, now it's always good to... Was, I think he was with Jesse. Can you imagine? Now, we can't confirm that, but mm. it did look like Frankie Grande was sitting next to Jesse. Now, is this a new showman's... Uh, oh my god drop the bomb drop the bomb drop the bomb so look best season ever second best season ever or oh crap do you know what we really hated it at first oh yeah we, I think, we, yeah, were we hated it for ages do you know what I think the last it was a really long series for starters I think it was because it was clashing too much with BB UK. I don't know. I did warm up to it about halfway through, but it wasn't that great. Everyone was said it was the best one ever, but whatever. But the thing is, we because we're idiots, we're going to watch the fucking thing anyway. So whether it's good, shit, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're going to watch it. So it's quite good to have a season that. Well, we did think it was crap at first, but then towards the middle, we kind of we were like slipping and sliding on it and then in the last half of the game we kind of really warmed to it I mm. think and it's good to have like a have a journey in the season <laughs> isn't it do you know what I think the cast good to change your opinion it is I think the casting was really good but I think when you lost big hitters quite early like Jace Devon Audrey and Jason that was a shame yeah but that's all their own fault that they left yeah it is and although Austin and the twins were so annoying they were quite fun to take the mick out of weren't they yeah so even though they were like crap characters it was quite fun to like do impressions of them and make fun of them and everything so that was good and Vanessa obviously was interested to watch and then because Johnny Mac was sort of light relief it was like it was a good mixture it wasn't like 
like Beast Mode Cowboy and like do you know what I mean and Gina Marie and all this shit it was like it was what, a bit you missed the exterminator as well <laughs> Um, what was the final alliance? There wasn't even a, an ally- alliance at the end, was there? What, Gina Marie? No. It was exterminated. This year, we, we just, just watched. No, no. Sc- it was like half Scamper Squad, half... I've forgotten who was in those brown things noses. anyway. Yeah, brown noses. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Oh, oh boo-woo. That's it for another season. Now, <laughs> why don't they have no celebrity Big Brother in America? I mean, they've got the celebrities. They've got the house. Why don't they do it? Because um, they can't understand the rules, it's complicated. What celebrities? Yeah, it's complicated, like the H O H, V O, all that stuff, right? Can't they learn those? Base? If I can learn it, anyone can learn it. Why don't they just like have UK rules for it? That's what BB. Yeah. No, but BB USA. The first year mm. they had the BB UK mm-hmm, format mm-hmm. where people r- r- rang in, and you know it was like a social experiment <laughs> and people making cups of tea and looking after chickens and all this <laughs> but Ted realised mm-hmm. this is a stupid fucking idea mm. and then changed the whole thing and turned it into a backstabbing competition meanwhile 15 years later we're still stuck with it on this side of the pond we're doing this <laughs> we're still labouring away at the same old crap now if you don't know yeah Big Bro- CBB ends tonight Celebrity Big Brother UK versus USA American listeners, there's only one person to vote for. It's Austin Armacost. Oh. By the time you listen to this, it'll probably all be over. But vote USA. We we support the USA, don't we? Well, USA. We've always been USA. Team USA. He's the only American in, so you have to support him, even though he called Janice Dickinson a stupid cunt, a bad mother, and she hops from reality show to reality show mixing now if anyone wants to vote <laughs> but they're in the US or some other country where you can't vote we've got a workaround for you now it's yeah. f- well channel 5 says 50, 50p a vote yeah. but for you <laughs> cherished listeners just for one pound yeah. we will put a vote on for you Look, so send us a tenner in the post and we'll send you out a Big Brother Vile uh, <laughs> crossword book <laughs> which is ten foot tall and, yeah okay so yeah. Thank you so much for listening. I know we're a bit down on this season at times, but we, as usual, we really enjoy it, and we always come calling back in the end. And next year, we might even watch the live feed and actually know what we're talking about. Can well, you imagine? It's a pretty radical departure <laughs> from the usual format, so we'll but see. It, even if we do that, we promise you, we'll always do the podcast at least a week late, just to make you feel comfortable and safe. And we promise you, we'll <laughs> always make sure we're drunk before we start. <laughs> Absolutely. As well. Anyway, but, thanks for listening. <laughs> follow me on Twitter, Light Up VM. Follow myself, Big Brother Bile. Read my book, First Aid Kit Girl, and watch CBB tonight or tomorrow on Catch Up. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>